Now, your Chris 6 weather forecast. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Well, this is the scene at Whataburger Field, and here we are over at uh, Snoopy's. You look off uh, the JFK Causeway there. Right there is a, a little bit of a thunder shower trying to develop. It's not vertically very high, but it does exist, and we may see one or two of these pop up this week, but overall it's looking like a dry week. Temperatures hovering near seasonal levels around 90 degrees. Today we had 91 after starting at 71, and just off the record high of 93 back in 2005. No rainfall, of course, today, so we could use some for our uh, water supply, but here in town, as you can see along the bayfront, everything is green and lush. And right now we've got a five mile an hour wind, mostly sunny skies and 89 degrees and similar values throughout the region. Pretty uniform with the exception of near the coast where it's 80 in Port Aransas right now, but 90 in Alice, Premont and uh, 92 down in Falfurius. So our hour by hour forecast, low 70s by 7 a.m. Near 90 at noon tomorrow, sunshine galore and very light winds once again, which will lead to fog overnight. Doppler radar shows no activity in our region. Future tracker is showing, uh, again, perhaps a stray shower. Hardly worth mentioning, though. Nothing like the deluge that happened with those isolated thunder showers on Saturday over the weekend. Uh, Rances Pass had 3.1 inches of rain and was the big rain winner of the weekend, although they certainly didn't need it. All right, now on uh, Wednesday, uh, we'll see morning clouds give way to afternoon sunshine. And then look at this, a few storms up here to the north, but not in the Chris 6 viewing area at 5 p.m. on Wednesday. Here's the winds. They are going to be very light here overnight. As you can see right here, nearly calm. That'll lead to some fog forming in the region, a light breeze tomorrow afternoon. So here's that visibility forecast. You can see visibility is down to about three to one mile uh, going from coast to inland at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. As far as the heat index goes, it's uh, about 96 now. It'll be in the low 70s in the morning, but 97 tomorrow afternoon here. And then on Wednesday, 98 uh, during the afternoon hours. So the heat is definitely going to be uh, feeling it here later this week. Satellite and radar shows again a couple little showers up the coast towards Houston and out here way out to the west, and that's about it. Do have a little area of disturbed weather right here northeast of the Bahamas. It's not much, but the Hurricane Center identified this, and some people went nuts saying this was going to develop and uh, we're going to have the first storm of the season before the hurricane season started. And now the Hurricane Center is saying there's no chance of development over the next two or seven day period. So here we go. We'll be talking about the tropics for some time to come. But if you want to know the real deal about what's going on, check out the, our special, our hurricane special plan, prepare, survive. It starts uh, Mon uh, May 30th at 6.30, so that's next week, right here on Chris 6. High pressure dominating. Look at all the dry air. That's why those thunder showers aren't built up anymore like they have been. And our lows tonight, upper 60s inland, about 70 here, mid-70s on the coast. And the highs tomorrow reach 90 degrees here, but 92 in Alice again, so sunny and dry with 84 over in beautiful Port Aransas. Here is your seven day forecast. 70 tonight, 90 tomorrow, 71 and 91 Wednesday, 71 and 90 on Thursday, 91 for Friday. A broken record, hot and steamy all week through Sunday. Memorial Day, we may have a shot at some showers. That still weighs off though by about 168 hours from now. We'll have more right